Hi there! I wanted to give you a really quick introduction to Meteor. It's uh, the JavaScript app platform, as I say here, but what's very interesting, interesting about it for me as a server-side developer is how it tightly integrates with the client side or the front side. So you're actually developing isomorphic applications that have both server and client-side JavaScript and they talk to each other really well through uh, MongoDB and something called MiniMongo, which is a client-side version of MongoDB, and how it manages to keep stuff in sync and in real time and a really fast and, and kind of very exciting way to develop applications, especially when you need like real instant um, feedback uh, for everyone. Uh, it's fantastic. So let's uh, get started, build a little app, and I can show you through it. Uh, you install uh, Meteor very simply by downloading it. I'm not going to show you how to install it. Basically run this command from meteor.com, which has a lot of great documentation, by the way. So uh, anything I'm going to talk about, have a look there. It's much better explained than I'm probably going to do justice. Um, and uh, you can go through the whole documentation and all the APIs, etc., etc. But anyway, that's how you install it. Once you've installed it, uh, which I have, you can just do Meteor create MD demo 001 or 01 as the app that I'm going to create, and then it will go and get whatever packages up to date, and then it says, "Hey, you go to run your app. You go into CD MD demo uh, 01. I'm going to ask Atom to go and edit it, see what's in there. Um, and if we can bring it to front, here we go. Here's Atom finally popping up, and it creates you a little." demo app. I mean, the, the default app is nothing to write home about, uh, but it's got some interesting things about this. So, what you can see is some HTML, uh, and it's got a, um, this is a spacebars directive or command to actually allow you to include another template. And the template is here before, below it called hello. So this is saying hello, include hello. I could create another template, say goodbye. So, and this could be our footer. Uh, so there we go, our footer. And if we wanted to include it, we can just do this uh, space bars um, thing. Goodbye. Great. Now we want to run our application and we can see all of this. Now let's uh, run it and we can see it. Meteor. Great. So it goes and selects some packages. You can see it started MongoDB, and then very quickly it says it's running at localhost uh, 3000. Let's put this down here because we'll probably have a look at it a little bit later. Uh, localhost 3000. Oh, look, there was one there. And it says, Welcome to Meteor. You've pressed the button zero times. If I click it, press it one time, and you can see there's a foot. Um, let me just put this to the side. So, very interesting, an application that counts how many times you've pushed it. Let's have a quick look at the CSS. Nothing in there. Uh, you could put some declarations in there. And the JavaScript has got some interesting stuff. In Meteor, you actually have a whole bunch of folders, generally, or you can put it all in there. And Meteor will know where to load things from. It'll load it all up by default. So, uh, in this case, we have, if Meteor is client, in other words, if we're running on the client side, we set a session variable. Now, the session variable is a little bit different than CFML developers might be used to, or coffee or server-side developers. The session is actually just held in this page, and generally they're one-page applications, so the session is continuous throughout the page. Uh, helpers are ways for you to put data back to the win to the screen. So, for example, template.hello.helpers. We say that the variable counter is equal to get the the, the the amount that's in the counter variable. If we look back at our JavaScript, we can see that we have a template called hello and a variable called counter. This refers directly to the template hello and the variable counter. Now, we also have events in our template. So you say for the template called hello, if you click the button, this button, increase the counter by one. Okay, so if you click me, we've increased the counter by one. Now, that's not exceedingly exciting, but it gives you the idea that we have something happening in the client. Now, for example, we can say if Meteor is server, so this is happening on the server, so what we can say is Meteor startup, when Meteor starts up, we can run code on the server. So let's do some of that, console.log, hello world from the server. Now, when this runs, this actually doesn't do your standard Meteor log, uh, your console log, let's see if we can 
inspect this so we're not seeing anything here in our in our log nothing happening here but if we look at our uh, uh, terminal we can actually see that the meter start restarted because I made some changes meter is very reactive in the sense that it changes and restarts the server anytime I make any changes so I don't have to be doing any reloads um, so here we say hello world from the server I could also put something in the client so let's say uh, if meter is client console dot log type it hello client and you see that we're restarting here and if we go over here we can see that there's been a comment that's come up that said hello client and, and I didn't have to reload that I mean I know you, you can't see my hands but actually this just does it by itself so I can say hello Bob and Elvis and I press uh, save and you'll see it run in just a second I'm not doing any there we go as you can see hello Bob and Elvis says run I haven't actually done any refreshing but that's not quite a real-time app so let's get rid of this this app uh, and restructure our application a little bit better so um, let's stop that uh, and we can see let's delete um, everything that's MD demo so we've cleared all of that now what we can do is um, there's certain directories that Meteor uses. So we have the client directory, which everything that is in the client will actually run. You have the server directory, which everything that's on the server will run. So that's kind of protected. That's not sent down to the client or anything like that. And then you've got the lib directory, where everything for everyone is run. In other words, it's run both on the client and on the server. And you'll see why this is useful in a second. So now that we've created those three, three uh, uh, folders, um, we can put our main page. Let's create a, a new page, a uh, new file, say main.html. Right, so this is going to run on the client. Uh, let's restart our little app. Meteor. Great, so now we're going to have a blank app. It's going to be really happy about that. Now, your, your first thing that you're going to try and do is write an HTML template saying my to do app. Right, the moment you do that, it will start running but you'll say there's an error and you go but there's no error there there's an HTML template I can totally see it um, the thing is is that Meteor actually handles the rendering for you so it says here while well, building application bad format in HTML template this is a template this is not an HTML page it's an HTML template and this is now going to be wrapped under a, around a, a so you can imagine your in your head this is actually going to be a, a template named Bobby. Now if we do that, this is not actually what we should do, but hopefully we, it will now if we reload this, it won't display anything because the template name is reserved. So in other words, don't use the template name Bobby for one, but this is all you have to do. Now this has now become wrapped around um, in a template internally into Meteor and let's do uh, Hello, uh, to do to do app. This is what we're building. So uh, it now reloads to the to do app, and hopefully we don't have any problems there. Great, great stuff. Let's just move this up a little bit so we start seeing any errors as they come up. Okay, so now if we want to build a to do app, we'll have a list of our to dos. So let's put a list of our to dos, uh, an ordered list. And in here, we're going to have a template for an individual to do. So, a to do item, let's put a template for called to do. And give it to do item. Now, as when this reloads, which we can see our to do item there. Now, this is not very dynamic. But let's do what we were doing before, and let's put some variables into our body, um, and then loop through them. So let's say that uh, for each of the to-dos, and this is using a, a markup called spacebars. So there we go. For each of the to-dos, go through to-do. And now this should disappear because, well, there isn't a variable called to-dos, but it's not giving us an error. It's all fine. We don't have anything in there. So let's create the variable um, to do. So let's put our main.js, and this is going to be run in the client. 
So say templates, and uh, this is a shortcut, and now I can say in body, helpers, uh, let's just delete all of this, because we don't need it. Uh, and the variable that we want to have is probably gone to do's. So the, help, the body helpers allow us to get data back. So now what we can do, um, let's just right. let's take a to do's. Now let's return, return an array there. if that works. There we go. To do item, to do item. It loops through them. And we can just delete this and put a variable and say this. And there you go. We have something, something uh, appearing there. Uh, let's say something, let's do something like uh, task one. And this is task two. Now, that's all very fine, but the, the what we've been doing is doing just a JavaScript app. Is fair enough. We've got some reactivity to it, um, and it reloads by itself. That's all fine. But this is not really the massive power of Meteor. One of the massive powers of it is being able to have these documents that you have on the server and on the client. So what we can do is define collections. So in the lib, because we want to use on the server and on the client side, we can define a new collection. So let's create a new file here called collections. Collections.js and I can say that we're going to have a to-dos collection. It's a, it's a new meteor, uh, meteor collection. And the collection that's going to be stored in MongoDB is called, let's call it to-dos. I mean, it, why complicate life, right? So now what, what we can do is actually keep the documents on the server and on the client and display these out. So instead of returning these tasks, what I can do is actually do a MongoDB query to the to-dos collection. Do we call it to-dos? Yes, to-dos. To-dos, and we want to find all of them. So this is actually just going to return all of them. Now you can see that nothing has returned because, well, our collection is empty. If we go into our console now, though, we actually have the ability to insert stuff into to do so to do dot insert let's insert um, hopefully you can zoom in on that um, let's put the text equals task one right so now we have task two and task three see we've added these objects immediately and they've immediately appeared but of course, they just says object, but that's just a formatting thing. So instead of this, let's call it the text, the text key. Uh, and now you'll see that it actually should come up task one, task two, task three. Now that's that's all fine and dandy. And you say, well, that's great. But what, what this is happening, this is happening across browsers. So if I do a, let's say, a, a new private window, uh, so I have a completely different session, localhost 3000. You can see that I'm seeing exactly the same thing. And if I add a new task, uh, task 4, it adds at exactly the same time. I'm not sure why the number 4 is not appearing. There we go. There we go. So the moment I add something, it appears everywhere, instantly. Now, this is great because I can have another browser. Let's see if I've got Firefox. Let's see. Uh, let's add a Firefox app. Now, if I put a localhost 300, again, you can see that even in Firefox app, these things are appearing real time. So, for some reason, my keyboard is not being listen to at the moment, but let's put uh, whatever. Let's just add some stuff there. Great. You see, and now they've appeared all across at the same time for all your users. And that's the kind of power that Meteor brings you. Anyway, enjoy. I shall add another video soon.